What is diamond fluorescence? Is it good? Is it bad? Is it something you need to worry about? These are all things we're gonna talk about today in this video. So most people have no idea what diamond fluorescence actually means, but they're told that they should stay away from it at all costs. And I want to sort of explain what it is so that you understand what it means, how it affects a stone, and if it's something that you want to consider in your purchase. So diamond fluorescence is the tendency for a stone to glow when it's subjected to ultraviolet light. For example, the black light. The effects of fluorescence are not something you would normally see under your everyday circumstances. And most people don't see it even comparing two stones, one that has it and one that doesn't. So for me, there's some value in purchasing a stone that might have fluorescence that doesn't actually affect the beauty of the stone. Fluorescence is present in about 30% of diamonds out there, and it will be graded with either none, faint, medium, or strong fluorescence. See this effect, it's actually pretty cool. The science guys out there may appreciate this. You'll see here that this stone shows no effect. If we move here, now this stone has faint fluorescence and you can see some of the blue. Moving here, this one has medium and now that blue intensifies. It's actually a cool feature and not something you're seeing naked eye without something like this. In general, when you have faint fluorescence in a stone, that's absolutely not something you're going to see with your own naked eye. Even when you use a black light, it's really difficult to see those effects. Some of those effects can include a milkiness or a haziness in the stone, but that's generally something you wouldn't see until you're at the medium or strong level. And even at those levels, you still may not see that effect. Fluorescence will actually discount the pricing of a stone, so it can play to your benefit in terms of value if you're comparing two stones that are equal across the board. Otherwise, that fluorescence may actually just give you a better pricing situation. And for me, if you can't see it, it's definitely something you should consider for value. One way that fluorescence is actually good is that when you have a stone that's, let's say, J or below for color, so it has some yellow in it, the blue fluorescence, which is sort of opposite on the color scale, can counter out some of that yellow, so it can actually enhance the color of the stone and make it look whiter. So if it's something that you're open to and it's not negatively affecting the stone, it's definitely something you should consider it actually may bump up the price when we're looking at a low color stone with the strong fluorescence because of that enhanced color feature. Sometimes it's actually cool to highlight the feature of fluorescence in a piece of jewelry. So there are some instances where fluorescence is sought out to be an added feature to a piece to make it really unique and one of a kind. So now we've talked about the pros and cons and things you need to know about fluorescence. I think overall it's not something you should be worried about, but now you have more education, so going into your purchase, you know how it may affect the value of your stone. 